Hello, welcome to the Mad Witch channel. Um, I'm hoping this isn't going to be a very long video, but um, I'm, I'm and I'm hoping because it's a very dull day today. It's very windy actually, but without the the light, um, it's not so easy. Anyway, bottom line of, of all of this is that I um, was asked to create a spread cloth and bag. Uh, after somebody had seen the one that I'd made for Sandra on Spirit of Avalon's uh, channel. Now, um, in case you haven't watched me or don't know me, I've created an Etsy shop and in it I am just putting up my spread cloths and bags and doodling away. And uh, the, the the backstory to this is that I'd made... Um, I was do I was doodling and I'd come up with this idea for a, a bag and um, I was going to gift it to Sandra because I was thinking of the Enchanted Forest, which is one of her favourites. And uh, it went wrong, so I couldn't send it to her. And she's like, oh, it doesn't matter, doesn't matter. And I went, no, no, it's fine, I'll do it again. So I, I did it again. And uh, in doing it again, uh, she was delighted with it and it went with her spread cloth. So uh, the person who asked me to create this, um, I explained to them, this is going back now a few a good month and I said to them I was going to be away because we were so I would do it on my return and they were fine with that and um, then mum passed sadly so everything kind of went um, up in the air and <laughs> so I started uh, the bag uh, because you know I, I I still needed to do it and it wasn't a problem uh, but it went wrong and uh, I won't put anything out there that I'm not 100% happy with so I had to start again so this was kind of where going from you know like two weeks it was in three weeks four weeks anyway um, and I, they were very sweet they'd messaged me they said look don't worry it's not a problem and I said no 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 I, I, I need I want to get it done what I realised was that um, it's a bit different when you're doing commissions um, because then usually based on either something you've created already. In, in this case, it was sort of like to match what Sandra had. And I realised that that I work best when my creativity is allowed to just do its own thing. So once it's confined to making something that fits a certain uh, size or shape or design or whatever it 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 seems to put me under a pressure that I suppose only another creator might understand um and you know don't get me wrong I, I absolutely love to take commissions it's an honor to create something for somebody that they've asked for but um it it's almost harder to get started even though you may have a, a template so anyway that said, once I got started, it, it all started to come together. Um, so the spread cloth and uh, bag um, will be on um, Etsy. Uh, I, I've contacted the person and let them know because anything over £50 you can use Klarna for. And I think it's a really... A, a good option for those people who you know may not immediately have the money but it's interest free so um yeah that's all i'm going to really say about that it it does give you other options and um these are not cheap they take a long time for me to make they're a, a mix of uh, hand and machine sewing now i'm going to just try and see if i can come down a ickle bit um, I'd like to try and get some of the detail in, but I don't want to, you know, don't want to have to keep redoing this. So, and I'm always delighted when I create a bag and or a cloth and they turn out to be better than I had expected. So, and they're always different because each one of them just, it has to flow. So, you know, I don't know how, I can't see, I'm, got little pots here all of this is done on the machine with variegated um, threads my little door here opens up um, and inside you've got the button for the opening of the bag and basically that's the 
the um, the inside and it matches the outside of the spread cloth. Um, yeah, so, and I, I love this material. <laughs> I don't know. This, yeah, I mean, I reclaim everything I can and this was a skirt I picked up in the charity shop. So it fits comfortably the um, Enchanted Forest or is it the Forest Enchantment? I always get those two around the wrong way. But anyway, it fits in there beautifully um, with a little bit of room to, to spare. It's not so, so tight. And on the back, I've created a uh, hair gazing uh, moon with a flower. And this has all been done by freehand uh, machine embroidery, except for the moon, which I did by hand because I found that with the hand in with the machine embroidery I tend to go wee so and here's the top of the tree which folds down over the um the trunk um and we have some toadstools down here in case you haven't seen and some little windows and a nice little climbing rose around the door so this is the bag that goes with the um the spread cloth that I made to go with it and I did actually use the same I was trying to do this under I'm trying to just get that there we go you know my stuff is <laughs> it's just mad which wonky I suppose now with the spread cloth I wanted to create it felt like a sort of almost opening a book so I added here I know can you see maybe I need to come up a little bit for this one I don't know hopefully it's all going to work um vintage button out of my mother's collection and ribbon again everything's recycled this makes just for me a really lovely sort of book feel to it I was going to actually applique some bits onto it, but I actually liked the look of it so much as a book, I didn't want to do that. So you open it up and you are in the um, Enchanted Forest. And let me just make sure I'm kind of in view. And here we have the matching door. So you've gone through the tree trunk into the magical kingdom and you come out the back door <laughs> I, just love, I, do, I just love doing that I've created this hair um this crazy hair with his little flower uh trees and in here you have the little path I don't know if you can see that very easily I don't know how well this is coming out and it takes you up to well I'm going to call it the witch's cottage aren't I because that's kind of this is my kind of magical kingdom um and the tree trunk obviously has you know uh the toadstools and we have up here sort of buttons and it lays it lays flat um it to be honest it's very difficult not to get carried away and add things uh to it um to make it too bulky to use as a spread cloth I and mean, you could use it as an altarpiece I mean we've got the chimney up here with a little bit of smoke coming out I haven't left much in the way of stringy bits on this one other than in the tree um I just felt that uh it didn't it just didn't feel quite right with this one so you can you know you can get quite a few cards on I think you could move them up um and do um an extra couple it'll take it'll take i haven't measured it this is this is the crazy thing about me is i haven't measured anything i'm quite happy with that i mean you could use the top bit with the buttons but like this is what i mean you've got to be really careful of if you get carried away i could be putting all sorts over here um because <laughs> it just that's how it feels um every time i make a cloth I say to myself, ah, oh, this is the best one yet. Um, and I made one for Martin, Martin's Musings or Martin's Curiosities, depending on if you're on Instagram or YouTube. And it, it again, it went slightly wrong, but I managed to create something out of that wrongness that was amazing. And I was so, so chuffed with it. Um, and I couldn't imagine that I could do better. 
but I love this. I absolutely love it. Um, and, you know, you have to be inspired. I mean, I look at this picture here, you know, the ten of booms, 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 booms. <laughs> Could be anything, couldn't it? Um, and it just, I just think, oh, look, you know, she's out in her cottage. Look. Okay, it doesn't look quite the same. Well, I might have to try that. Um, and, you know, this is inside. They're having a feast. Um, and maybe, you know, you can, I, I, I mean, the scope is kind of endless. And when I start looking at it and, and talking about it like this, it opens up even more. And this particular deck lends itself so well to giving me inspiration. Although, that said, I didn't use it, um, to be fair, uh, in the inspiration of this because I'd already sort of got in mind what I was going to do. But, you know, um, I've got another half done one upstairs, which I started. Um, and I wonder if I should show it, actually. Yeah, I might do. Let me just pause it. Hold on. OK, I'm back. To you, it's seconds. To me, it was a few minutes. Well, not a few minutes. It wasn't that long. So this massive one, I started, which was meant to be this one um, for the for the client, and um, I don't, I couldn't, I could not get my head in the zone. And when I started um, this one, and this is what I'm talking about when it comes to doing. Uh, creative things and how your your how it goes this isn't of course this is nowhere near finished but I'd found these tassels um and I wanted to use them I love willow um willow trees so sometimes these experiments you know they 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 just evolve really so I wanted to create a willow tree and I wanted it to be tactile, but not so much that it would interfere if you were doing a reading. And I realised that this was not something I could offer up to, to the client because that wasn't what they'd asked for a willow tree. Um, they'd given me lots of scope to work with and that was fine. And I also never go by size either. I just rip a piece of fabric <laughs> paint it and go with the flow um so you can you can see how the process starts um and where i go with it and this is me i had some netting that was left over from the sowing doll that i've nearly finished um and i thought it made a nice thatch roof and i re i used it again in the creating of this one as well um so you can see it here as well it's it's been incorporated into that but um so basically this is kind of where I start but this is where it's my so I thought well do you know I, I love willow trees I'm gonna probably keep it unless somebody desperately falls in love with it um you know it's it, it's not even remotely finished <laughs> so there's so much more I need to do with it um but it, it does explain where the process starts how how it comes together you know I have an idea of what I'm going to create and so once I've done that I then start to fill it in um and actually going back before I do that hold on a second so you've got you know, I mean, this is a this was the original um, bag that I had made for the client and I loved it. But what happened, what I realized was that I'd actually not got my positioning right. So this is kind of at the bottom and there's, you know, I've, I've put in some plant pots and it, it doesn't sit well. It doesn't fold well. It doesn't sit well. I loved the the. Um, the hair that I'd created there but as you can see it just it was the wrong it just didn't quite work so I you know I thought right okay I've you know abandoned this move on I will make it work um I will fiddle about with it for the time being it's housing my um nature whispers because it that, that doesn't have but it, it it's not quite um as you can see, it doesn't quite fit. So I've got to play around with that. But I know that I can and I know kind of what I'm going to do with it. And I know that I can make it work for me. I wouldn't sell it. Um, so there you have it. So 
that's the um, the way the process starts. I hope to get back to that one. I have a massive dragon piece that I was been making for years, long before tarot, long before any of this. And uh, I, I need to finish it because uh, it's, you know, I've kind of come full circle where, you know, I started off doing pictures. They've turned into spread cloths and bags and I, I love them. Um, I, I love creating this. It's, it's just... Um, such a delight to make them and they are all different and they have to me that you know it's it's not just that I want to do woodland scenes you know like I say I've got this massive dragon piece which is too big to be a spread cloth but what it can be is a, a sort of you know a, a sampler a um, springboard for me to make a dragon picture or a uh, the other one that I want to work with is probably doing some fairies and uh, fairy folk and, and that kind of thing. So, um, but you have to be mindful when you're creating it that, that it, it has to serve a purpose. Um, if it's an autocloth, not maybe not so much, but, you know, the buttons do mean that you can't um, stand things on there. Um, but the but that said, as you you know, I've already shown you can easily use it as a spread cloth. That's what it was made for. Um, but fun because I love the idea of, of you 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 getting this out and surrounding it with maybe some woodland things and um, the uh, cat and some candles and some incense and you open your deck and you open your spread cloth like a book. And that you're suddenly in this enchanted world. And I guess that for me is the magic of creating the fact that this is a world I've created. Um, so I, I think I, I like to give my bags a name. And the as this is a duo, um, I probably will call it, you know, uh, the secret forest or, or something like that i have yet to decide and um it as i say it is a commission if somebody else is interested and wanted something they can contact me that's not a problem um and also the fact that you know if the person does change their mind although it is going up on etsy um for them to purchase it that way uh, if it's up there for any length of time and they haven't got back to me, well, um, I'll have to do another one. <laughs> um, but there you have it. That's that's my um, that's my little creation of enchantment um, for anybody who's interested. And uh, thank you so much if you stay to the end. Um, and for watching and for all the lovely support that I get. Uh, hopefully I will in time be able to put more bits on my shop, but I'm definitely not going to be doing mass productions because I can't, um, <laughs> just can't do it. The Samhain doll is all but done. I've just got to sort her out some shoes and um, then I'll be doing a video of her and popping her up for sale again a lot of work a lot of hours go into making these creations and I think the nice thing for me is now I've got the shop that I'll just put stuff up as I create it obviously if somebody asks for something but these the you know to produce this is is hours and days of work I use predominantly variegated threads but I do use a lot of uh, recycled fabrics where I can. So thank you so much. Take care. Have a wonderful day.